how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video. So, I just got in the mail the new Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Lipsticks along with the new eyeshadow palette. So, I sat down immediately and I was like, let me film this. So as you guys can see, I already have my base done here. I don't have any highlighter on yet because I feel like when I don't have like eyeshadow on and I go to put my highlighter on, I feel like I just look crazy. Yes, 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 hunty. So these new products are going to be coming out the 23rd of January. So I was sent this, but this is not a sponsored review. I will tell you the tea on all of this. I do want to do the eyes first and then probably try out all the lips. Since there's only four lipsticks here, I'll probably just try them all on for you guys. So this is called the Blue Honey Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna zoom you guys on in so we can take a closer look at all of the packaging and everything else that is going on here. So yeah, let's go. I feel like this was my shortest intro ever. How are you guys doing? Good? Okay, let's zoom in. <laughs> So when you take a look at the packaging, we kind of have this blue metallic going on here and it feels very nice. I feel like the outside of this packaging feels a little bit different compared to our other Kai shadows. So this is really, really nice packaging. And then when you flip it on the back, you kind of have this like honey dripping here. It's embossed. It feels like a different texture than the rest of the packaging. And it says the blue honey palette. It tells you the shade names, the ingredients and all of that. And one thing that I really liked when I opened this up earlier was inside, we kind of have this honeycomb going on with like a little turquoisey blue and some rose gold there. You can see when I like move it back and forth, it kind of shines. I like that there is a lot of detail that went into this packaging. I was literally just saying in my other video with Kristen Leanne when I reviewed her collaboration, I was saying how much I love the detail in the packaging and it kind of reminded me of this. Like I like how there's really cool cool elements to the packaging. So you kind of have this signature Kai shadow palette with the dripping eyes. Here we kind of have like rose gold with the blue and it is metallic if you guys Ooh, I'm trying to get it so that you guys can see, but it does have some metallic. And again, you have the eyeshadow names on the back. For me, you guys know I am so bad at these eyeshadow names, like trying to match them up. So that's the only thing right away I, I am going to say that like I, I always have problems with is like with it, so when it's on the back, I feel like I'm always messing it up. So when you open up the palette, you have Kylie here and you have the shadows. I really am living for these shadows. I love the kind of like color scheme that is going on here. You have your golds and your turquoises. You also have your bronzy coppers down here and we have some pretty awesome matte shades. So I'm really excited to dive on into this. Let me read you guys the price of everything. Let me look it up online. So this palette will be $42 on KylieCosmetics.com. So uh, without any further ado, let's just like go on in. I really like, I kind of have an idea of like something that I want to do. I know a lot of people are probably going to be using these colors right here. So I'm going to try to incorporate these, but I don't want them to be the main idea of like the show because I know probably every beauty vlogger is going to be using these two colors right here. So I want to do something different. Ooh, I'm really, really excited. Okay guys, so I'm going to be going in right here with the shade raw and I am just going to kind of focus that all over the eye, setting everything, making sure everything is kind of down and in place. Ooh, this shade also like I feel like is brightening up my eye a tad bit, which is always nice. So just kind of having that down and putting it all over the eye. Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade right here called Raw. This is a really pretty shade, or I believe it is called Raw. I don't know. So I'm gonna go in and just start focusing this right on the crease, going back and forth. Ooh, that looks pretty. So I do also wanna show you guys, I really don't have any fallout when I'm dipping into these colors so far. Fallout for me doesn't really bother me as long as the eyeshadow works. That's what's the most important thing. But I do just wanna say there's not a lot of fallout so far. Okay, that is really pretty. That blended out very, very beautifully. I'm very impressed so far. And then just doing the same thing over here on this eye. Ooh, girl, my nose contour is a little harsh today. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind that. <laughs> yeah, so this is looking pretty nice so far. 
Hell yeah, girl. I could I could vibe with this. I could vibe with this. I could get down. I'm going to be using my Morphe M433 brush. I do have a discount code with Morphe. It's N-I-C-O-L in all caps at the checkout. I do make a slight commission, but when you use my discount code, you do get 10% off. So it's a win-win for both of us. You know what I'm saying, girl? So this shade right here is called Blue Honey. So I'm going to saturate both sides of my brush. Again, very minimal fallout. Nothing going too crazy over here and just tapping off the excess. And since this is a darker color and we really only have down like one solid base color, I'm gonna be very careful when I'm working with this. So you don't want to press too heavily. I'm kind of just like going very, very lightly with this because this is a darker shade. And if you get some on your lid, don't worry about that. We're gonna cover that up later on. I just have like a very big eyelid, so I tend to get a lot of eyeshadow on it. So I'm kind of just pushing this in the crease and working it back and forth. I'm going to eventually switch to a smaller brush, but just to get down this like base shade right here, this is working perfectly. So I'm gonna leave it at that so far, and then I'm gonna go to my left eye now and kind of do the same thing, just working it directly in the crease and onto the eye. And I am kind of doing this a little sloppily, but that's okay because we're gonna switch to our smaller brush and that's just gonna make everything easier for us. But since we are just putting down this dark shade first, I wanna make sure I get like a nice kind of base down. Okay, so now switching to my Morphe M514. This is my holy grail brush from Morphe. I'm gonna go into that blue honey shade again and kind of saturate my brush entirely and you can see the fallout is very very minimal on this palette so that is a good thing especially when you're working with these darker shades you don't want like fallout going all over your face so I'm just gonna pick up my mirror so I could take a closer look and now I'm just gonna start really really defining and going into that crease even more and I'm using a very 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 light hand with this since this is a very dark shade you don't want to press too too hard yeah that see that's looking really really pretty I'm really liking that so far and I would say for like a matte shade like this, the pigment is pretty good on it. I definitely did have to go over it twice, but I normally have to do that with a lot of shades anyway, so that really doesn't bother me. So I'm just taking my time and pressing very lightly and going kind of like back and forth. Yeah, that's looking really nice. Okay, I could dig it. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye over here, really, really defining that crease. And also like for me, my brow bone is right here. So I'm kind of bringing it really, really close to my brow bone. I know a lot of people don't have like eyelids like myself, but if you do have a larger eye, that is something to keep in mind. You are probably going to bring it up to your brow bone just because, you know, we got a lot of surface area to work with here. I feel like I get my eyelids from my mom's side because my aunt has these like huge eyelids and I'm like, yeah, I definitely got something, something over there. And so what I'm gonna do now is go right back to this shade right here, which I believe is Sweet Like Honey. I'm gonna take a larger fluffy brush and if you feel like you want to soften up any of the edges, this is a really good technique to use. I'm using that first shade that we ever went into and I'm kind of just going over that blue just to like make it you know blend a little bit more seamlessly and then doing the same thing to this eye and don't be afraid to use your fingers so yeah this is looking really really nice I really love the way that this turquoise shade blended out I would say so far just from using the three shades in the palette so far I have to say that this may be my favorite Kylie eyeshadow that's like in this typical Kylie form I would say that the nice palettes my favorite and then second is this guy I think that this palette so far is my favorite one of like her little square ones. So now I'm gonna be going into the shade right here which is called Bumble. I am taking my Morphe M224 and I am just going to pack my brush both sides with this shade and I'm gonna put this on my entire lid. Ooh, that is pigmented. And I'm also kind of like defining the crease with this brush. This brush is really, really good for packing on any color that you want on the lid. That looks pretty fun. And then just doing the same thing over here. This is a really pretty gold. It's not too like yellowy, if you know what I mean. It's very, very wearable gold. Okay, so I kind of want to try something. I hope it doesn't like ruin the look. You know when you get an idea in your head. I want to play around with this color right here, which I believe is a royal jelly and I'm gonna take some on my finger 
And I'm gonna just like pat it on the half of my eyelid more towards the outer V and just kind of blend it with my finger. And then just do the same thing over here. When you're doing this, be careful because I did kind of get a little happy and I kind of rubbed a little bit of my finger on my face. So just be careful when you're doing that. I would love to see like what kind of look Kylie would wear for this. You know what I mean? I feel like she could slay whatever. And then for the lower lash line, I'm taking this teal shade, which is blue honey. And I'm just going to work this very close to the lash line, kind of like halfway. I'm doing the same thing over here. And then taking this gold, I'm going to kind of meet the blue halfway. Just like so. Okay, so I am going to quickly do my eyeliner off camera and I'll be right back to test the lips. I also am gonna pop on some Lily Lashes. These are in The Style Miami. I also am using the Velour Lash Glue. Ooh, Kylie, I want Kylie to come out with lashes. She always has like the bomb lashes, girl. I need some lashes from Kylie Cosmetics. Okay, my glue is still drying on this lash, so pay it no mind. So let's go through the velvets. So when you look at these velvets, the Kylie logo is in velvet and it's so cute. I really love this packaging. I think she put a lot of detail definitely into the packaging, which is really, really cool. I definitely appreciate that. Not as a makeup lover, but like even as a consumer, you know, when I buy something, I want it to be like really dope from the outside in. And I think that she achieved that with this packaging. So if you don't know what a velvet lipstick is, it basically is like a hybrid between a liquid to matte and a regular lipstick. It kind of has that same feel of like a liquid to matte, but it's not as drying. So if you are someone who doesn't like a drying formula, her velvets are definitely for you. This is pretty shit. So the velvet singles are $16 each, which I think is actually a pretty good price. So this first one is called Mood. So I'm gonna do like a very, very quick swatching for you guys. This isn't gonna be like a perfect thing because I'm not sure which color I'm gonna wind up wearing. Oh, this is really pretty. Okay, I like this one a lot. So again, just a very rough swatch. So this is a very pretty shade, very wearable. I would say it's kind of like a brownish red hybrid. I really, really like this one. So I wasn't expecting this one to be like this color and I really like it actually. I may wear this with my makeup look. How you doing? Thank God we only have like four shades to try on because last time I did a swatch video, my lips were literally like bleeding after it. The next shade we have here is Vibe. Again, a velvet. Ooh, this is kind of like a brick burnt orange kind of shade. These colors so far have been very pigmented. Again, guys, this is a really, really quick rough swatch just so you guys can see, but I really, really like this color. For some reason, I'm looking at the monitor and it's looking a little bit more bright. This really isn't a bright shade. I don't know why the camera is picking it up like that, but I do really like this one. This reminds me of just like a brick burnt orange, maybe like pumpkin-y kind of flavor flavor, like shade, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, so let's do the next one. This shade right here is called Shook. Ooh, this formula is really nice. It's very thin, very lightweight. So this is Shook, very pretty. I'm loving these kind of like burnt warm tone shades. They're very, very wearable, especially if you have like a skin tone similar to mine. And the last one here is called Heat, which I believe is more of a red. So let's try that on. Actually, you know what? Since this is like a red, I don't want it like smearing all over my face. <laughs> So, oh wait, actually, this isn't even, no, oh, is it a red? It's like a hybrid. Let's, let's just apply it. Ooh, wait, oh wait, yeah, that is very similar. It's like a red and an orange. Again, this shade is called Heat. That's really pretty too. So I think the shade that I'm gonna put on is Mood just because it was the most neutral of all the shades. So I'm going to quickly do that off camera and I will come back and give you guys my final thoughts and opinions on this launch. Don't mind my mess of a hair. I kind of have that just out of the shower vibes going on. <laughs> but okay guys. So first let's talk about the lipsticks. I really love Kylie's Velvet formula. I think in general, you 
will be very happy if you purchase a velvet because it's a very, very easy formula to wear, easy formula to apply, and also just feels very nice on the lips. If I had to pick some of my favorite shades, I would say I really liked Vibe and I really liked Mood. These two were my favorite for sure. And when it comes to the eyeshadow palette, I think that this may be my favorite kind of eyeshadow palette that Kylie has done that is this form. I really loved her Nice palette. That was more of like a longer vibe palette with more shades. This has nine shades in it. So I would say this is my favorite out of all of her nine shade palettes. I love the way that my eye look came out. I think it looks really pretty. It was very easy to use. I was like so shocked on how blendable, especially those more teal colors were. I was really, really loving that. I definitely can see myself using and reaching for this palette a lot more in the future. So I'm really excited about this one. It definitely lived up to my expectations. I really like everything that I tried. So if you are in the market for a new eyeshadow palette or a new lipstick, I definitely recommend these. I really, really liked them. And again, there was very tiny fallout. I didn't get very much and there was none on my face whatsoever, which is really nice. So I hope that this review was helpful for you guys. I hope this kind of first impressions was helpful for y'all. Leave me a comment down below what you guys think about everything. And yeah, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on my little bell notification thingy my bobby. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.